Hold on to your hats, everyone. Google just announced Palm E. What is Palm E, you ask? Okay, it's a robot with over 562 billion parameters that doesn't even need quantum retraining. This is a massive development for the world of AI, and it shows that Google has not been playing around. Look at this footage where they ask the robot to retrieve rice chips from the drawer. They even throw distractions at the robot to see how it would cope in a real life scenario with rice chips on the line. And the robot passes with flying colors. The Palm E is a testament to how far we've come with AI because it can handle tasks without extra input. This robot is going to be a key feature in many industries if they can be developed at scale. Before we get into it, if you love to hear about everything AI, please subscribe to the channel and help us reach our goal of 1,000 subscribers. It'll really help the channel out. Now back to the video. All right, so let's get into what Palm E is and what it can do because it's pretty amazing. It's called Palm E, first of all, because it uses the Palm as the pre-trained language model and the E stands for embodied because it's actually embodied. So what they've done is they've actually taken a language model and put it inside of an embodied physical vehicle, which is insane. All right, so we're gonna look at a few examples of showing how the Palm E can be used to plan and execute long horizon tasks. All right, that first one was how it grabbed the rice chips despite many different distractions, it was still able to complete the task. And it's able to use visual feedback from its camera to even know where it's going, like this is amazing. Now this is in four times speed, as you can see at the top here on the top left. So it's pretty slow, but that doesn't make it any less amazing. And then in the next example, you can see that the task is to bring me a green star. The green star was something that the robot wasn't directly exposed to prior to the task, but it's still able to discern from the other different colored blocks. Really, really impressive stuff, guys. And the green star is delivered. In this next section, they show Palm E controlling a tabletop robot arm that's arranging blocks. So its first task was to sort the blocks into colors by placing them in different corners. And this is another example of planning over multiple stages and incorporating visual feedback over long time horizons. And then this last task is for the Palm E to put the ocean colored blocks together. So it's successfully identifying which blocks are the ocean colored blocks. And even when distracted, it still knows which blocks to group together, which is really the standout part. And so this could come in handy when we think about things like Tesla's factory. Those robot arms that we see in Tesla's factory, they're, they're programmed to do specific things and they do that every time. They're not able to improvise and think and do, you know. So imagine what, what the Palm E robots could do in a factory setting or in, the, in any industry, really. It'll really change the game when you can have these, when you have these robot arms with actual intelligence that can improvise on the spot and make changes on the spot. This is revolutionary. In these next two tasks, demonstrate two examples of generalization. In the first case, the instruction is to push the red blocks to the coffee cup. And in the next generalization example, the instruction is to push the green blocks to the turtle. What's amazing about this is the robot was able to successfully execute this task, even though it had never seen the turtle before. Incredible. And in addition to this, Palm E is also a competent vision language model. So here we can see, so if I click on this image here, it says, how many championship rings did the player on the left win in his career? And Palmy is able to answer, Kobe Bryant is on the left. Kobe Bryant has won five championship rings. Crazy. Then we have here, today's specials. The question is, I'm getting just two custom pizzas for me and my friend. How much should I pay in total? And the answer, first step, two custom pizzas. Second step, two times 9.99. Third step, 19.98. Just an example of how Palm E can be used in everyday life. And we have this image. Can I go down this street on a bicycle? Yes or no? Answer one, do not enter except bicycles. Do not enter except bicycles. Yes. And then we, we see here, what will the robot do next? Answer fall. It's able to visually interpret these images and it's crazy. Even look at this. If a robot wanted to be useful here, what steps should it take? Answer. Clean table, pick up trash, pick up chairs, wipe chairs, put chairs down. I mean, this thing is built to be the ultimate helpful tool. Okay, so here we see the question is, who are the two teams playing in this photo? Which was the last to win a championship? And which year did they win? And who was their star player that year? I mean, that is very specific. Palmy answers. The team in white is New York Knicks. Team in green, Boston Celtic. Last to win championship was Boston Celtic. Year was 2008. Star player was Paul Pierce. 
I'm not sure if this is correct. I'm not a basketball fan. I just Google it. You'll be able <laughs> So Palm E can obviously answer situational questions as well. It'll be able to be offered an image and give multiple facts about the time period. We click on this one. What's in photo one, but not in photo two? Kind of the Sesame Street stuff. It's able to say this image has this, this image doesn't have that. You can see here a situation where a human has told Palm E to use all of the ingredients you see to make cake batter. And as you can see, Palm E listed all the ingredients. So you can have a robot that can make you cake. The possibilities are endless here. And so we have a situation here where it's asking what flavor is the pink donut? And the answer is blueberry. So this is important because say you spoke a different language, you were in a different country and you wanted to know what flavor that donut was but you couldn't read it. Well you can just ask Palm E to look for you and it'll tell you in your language. Stuff like Google Translate and translators, they can translate well enough but they can't see in the real world and tell you what's going on. This thing can actually see in the real world and tell you what's going on and help you out in your day to day. This is crazy stuff. The competition between companies is leading to very fast advances in AI and it's scary to think about where we'll be in six months. Let me know what you think in the comments. Click a video on the screen to watch something you haven't seen. Subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching AI Focus.